has a very large boardwalk and I'm hoping that this is the beginning of it. It's not really even open today. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff that's closed. This may be a quick trip to Congaree National Park. And we'll see what we can see. We haven't had too much problem with this anywhere else. If you come to Congaree, bring bug spray. We are getting eaten alive out here. I don't know, it might be one on my forehead. <sighs> you just gotta keep moving, I guess. they built this boardwalk because this whole area floods and it would probably be a lot cooler if it was all flooded out but the tree trunks before it goes up are massive they're just wide with these huge roots it's something I haven't seen before what are these things they're like roots that are coming out of the ground, kind of like stalagmites and, and caves. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the Western Lake Loop was something that we wanted to see, but just like a lot of other trails, things are closed around here. It's pretty quiet, not very lively. This is a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. There's just interesting trees and those things growing out of the ground and lizards and I don't know if I would drive very far to get here, but it's definitely worth the walk if you're around. I was hoping to do a loop, but it looks like we just have to turn around and go back. There's one more trail that looks like it went back towards the visitor center. We're gonna try that one. There's definitely a certain beauty to this place. Although we've still met very, very friendly people along our travels, everybody walks by you on sidewalks and everything like your disease, like you've got the plague, which may be true, so I don't blame them. It's just an interesting new way to travel. Upon further research, I learned that it was designated to save the oldest deciduous forest in the US, old growth deciduous forest. It's pretty cool has some of the largest trees of their kind within the forest, and we did come across one of them, I think. After a quick walk through Congaree National Park, we are now making our way to a boat launch that we found on freecampsites.net. We're hoping it works out. boat launch that we plan to stay at tonight is a bit busier than we had hoped. We are, however, going to make some dinner here and then head to the nearest rest stop. Seems to be our uh, luckiest and best place. We might be able to work, plug some stuff in, use the restrooms. <laughs> so we're going over our menu options and it's either tuna packet with crackers, mac and cheese or french toast 
We've got milk, we've got bread, and we have eggs. We've got nutmeg and cinnamon too. We've got All everything. Just a little bit. I don't know if most people put nutmeg in their french toast, but I like it. And I don't have uh, vanilla, so you gotta add a little something extra. I'm so excited about this. Sleeping at option number three. First place. Oh. Uh, first place. A little too busy. Not really our style. Second place. Get to a rest stop that had signs that said no overnight parking. What is that? For the convenience of motorists. Yeah, right. Real convenient. So we are at our new happy place, which is a Walmart parking lot. Not inside the Walmart is not the happy place, the parking lot, because we have never been bothered and there's always open. There's a trucker also parked here, makes us feel a little more comfortable, like we're allowed to be here. We are just outside of Savannah, Georgia, not in Georgia yet, right over the border. Our plan tomorrow is to drive to Florida. Full details on that tomorrow. Good night.